Hello everyone and welcome in this tutorial on UI masking or to be more precise reverse UI masking. So this is what we're going to try to achieve is to have a UI mask that instead of rendering only what's inside the mask image, it renders only what's outside the mask image. That is something you can easily do um, with the standard masks, but in UIs, it doesn't work because there is no option to only render stuff that is outside the mask. So let's see how this is done. I'm going to delete this and we're going to do it all over again. By the way, this game here is Asphalia. Uh, it's the game I'm currently working on. It's um, available for wishlist on Steam, so don't hesitate to check it out. Uh, the link is in the description below. But we're not here to talk about my game, we're here to talk about UIs, so let's get into it quickly. First, let us create a UI panel. And let's just do the standard, the, the usual way of doing masking first. So let's create a big panel. Let's have like lots of opacity. And now we say we want we would like to mask a part of that panel. So the way you'd have to do this is to actually create another panel. So let's create another UI panel. Actually, I'm just going to duplicate this one and put the this panel, this new panel is what is going to serve as our mask. And then this other panel has to be a child of this panel. So we will then add let, let me let me make this a bit larger here. We will then add a mask component on this. Now note that nothing is being masked yet. First of all, I want to disable show mask graphic. And then I need to give it a uh, texture that will be used for the masking. So uh, let us then take something that is funny. Uh, can we take this? Yay. Um, yeah, let's 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 go with this big heart. I, actually, the resolution isn't great. Uh, let me just take I don't I, I have a panel somewhere, which is cool. Uh, which looks pretty cool. Uh, my project's big. <laughs> Lots of images. How do I find this? I don't know. Where is the panel? Oh, let's just let's just look for panel, I guess. There you go. We have a big panel there. Okay. So, but what if we... So this is like the standard way, but we cannot revert this. And that's what we'd like to do. We'd like to only... We'd like to only see inside of this thing and to, I mean, to see through, to have alpha inside of this thing and to only render our panel outside of this thing. Now, how do we do this? There is a solution um, that is being talked about on a Unity Answers. I'll give the link to this description, but credit goes to Glitchers for offering this. It took me a while to uh, understand how it worked, but uh, this is why I'm making a video to help you guys figure it out. But credit goes to this guy anyways. So how do we do this? We're not going to use a mask. We are actually going to use a material instead. Adjust a material using the normal shaders because look at what this does. What this actually does here is the masking thing is it changes the values of the shader here. As you can see, this panel here has a UI default shader with a stencil comparison of three, stencil ID of one, operation 0, 0, 1, 15. And this one has 812, 255, 255, 0, and alpha clip. And that is exactly what this mask component does. It changes the setting of the, uh, of the material that is on the thing. But because we don't have access to this, we cannot change those settings. So that's what we're going to do is to create materials that mimic exactly this. So let's create two materials. I already have them here that are created. So 3200115 for the masked material and 8122552550 and use alpha clip for the masking material. Note that it might be a little 81. No, it's, it's the same, right? And then 31001. It's 32001. Here I use two instead of one. Um, but that's, that's, that's uh, what I'm not going to go into, into the details of these things. You can look it up. There's plenty of documentation. Let's just focus on getting things done. So let's get rid of the mask component then, remove component, and use this UI mask material 
and put it on the mask material here. And let's do the same with the masked material and call it UI masked material. And bam, there you go. We have now the reverse effect. Now, however, what if I wanted to make this thing smaller? If I change this, let's say I do this and I change the, the width of my, uh, oops, what did I do here? Okay, I changed the width of my mask. It does so, but unfortunately, because these things are parented, uh, it, it also shrinks my panel. I don't want that. But here's the beauty of using these materials is that we don't need the parenting anymore. We don't need panel to be parented to the other one because that's how the mask component detects um, what it has to mask. But here we don't need anymore. We don't need that anymore. We just take this and just unparent it and make sure this one renders before. And there you go. Now I can change the width independently of this thing and the height. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do a reverse mask. Hope you liked it. Hope it helped you. And see you in another video.